Raider Nation, Raider Nation, Raider Nation, Raider Nation. What is going on, everybody? What is going on? It is your boy, Darian, coming to you live with another video. It is the Spotlight Raiders Talk. Shout out to all the subscribers that have subscribed to the YouTube page. If this is your first time ever being at the YouTube page, we do suggest that you subscribe and hit the bell button and get the latest news in all Raiders news. And I want to shout out to everybody that was in the chat over at the Spotlight Sports Network and over here at Spotlight Raiders Talk. Shout out to all the Raider Nation that was in the building for the live stream between the Denver Broncos and the Las Vegas Raiders. But... The Las Vegas Raiders is 4-2, and two, and we beat the Denver Broncos 34-24. to 24. Now, I said in my prediction video, if you did not see it, I said 34-17. I knew that the Raiders was able to score 34-plus on this Denver defense, and we was able to do it, man. We was able to do it. The team looked good. The defense has three interceptions and one Fumble and a fumble recovery today. It looks so good on the defensive side of the ball. Even though they gave up 24 points, which was technically 17 points because of the little downtime tight uh, touchdown that the Denver Broncos had. But let's look at this game, man. Let's look at this game. Let's go look into it and talk about this game, man. First downs, 25 to 16. The Broncos had way more first downs than us when it came to this game. Total plays, 77 for Denver, 52 for the Raiders. They beat us in that column too, but we end up winning the game. Total yards, 426 yards of total offense for the Las Vegas Raiders, and the Broncos had 421. So even though that the defense has so many turnovers, they still was able to get 421 yards. Total drives, they had 13, the Raiders had 12. When it comes to passing, 340 yards, which that is Derek Carr's number for today. 309 for Teddy, for Teddy Bridgewater. When it comes to rushing attempts, well, rushing yards to be exact, Denver had 112 rushing yards. The Raiders had 86. And we both tied with rushing attempts at 23. They averaged 4.9 yards a rush, which I think our defense have to get better at that, giving up so much. So much. When it comes to that. So we got to we gotta really got to tone down on that. Red zone. We was two for three on the red zone. They were two for three on the red zone. But Denver. This was the changing factor. Of why the Raiders won this game. Denver had four turnovers. Three interceptions. One fumble. Crazy. Crazy. And they even had us in, the, in there on time of possession. 34 minutes and 33 seconds today. 25. To our 25 minutes and 27 seconds y'all. I, I'm, I'm really loving how this game has played out. I really love how the Raiders played, man. Let's get into some quick box score stuff because I don't want to keep y'all holding up because I know I still have to do Sunday night football after this. But let's go into the Denver Broncos. Since they was home, I'll do my team last because we did win. Teddy Bridgewater, 35-49, 334 yards, three touchdowns and three interceptions for Teddy Bridgewater. Derek Carr, 18-27, 341 yards in two two touchdowns, no picks, but he was sacked twice, and uh, Bridgewater was sacked five times on the defensive side of the ball. Five times, man. It was outstanding the way this defense really played today. Josh Jacobs, 16 carries for 53 yards and a touchdown. Still got to get the running game going, but I'm satisfied with it. Kenyon Drake, four carries for 34 yards and a touchdown. Looked really good on that run. I really love the way Keon Jake played today. Henry Ruggs, man, let's get into the wide receivers. Henry Ruggs looked good too. But uh, for Denver, uh, Javante Williams, 11 carries, 53 yards, no touchdowns. Melvin Gordon, 10 carries for 50 yards. So we really just kind of shut them down uh, when it came to the running game. Noah Fitt, nine receptions for nine, 97 yards and a touchdown. Courtland Sutton, eight receptions for 94 yards and a touchdown. And Tim Patrick, three receptions for 42 yards and a touchdown. Henry Ruggs, three receptions for 97 yards on four targets and one touchdown. Brian Edwards, two receptions for 67 yards. Got to give them the ball a little bit more. But um, Keon Drake, uh, two receptions for 39 yards. Darren Waller, five for 59 yards. Um, and Keon Drake had a, a catching touchdown as well. Um, Hunter Riffle, only three for 36 yards. But Hunter Riffle is always going to be reliable for us, man. But um, defensively, 
Defensively, we did we did really good on the defensive side of the ball. With Corey Littleton was uh, 11 total tackles, 7 solo. Denzel Perriman, 11 total tackles, 6 solo. And Nate Hobbs, 11 total tackles and 6 solo. So this team had played a collective game. And I've been telling everybody this. We have to focus on Denver. And I've been saying that for the longest. And this Raiders team came out here focused. They they never took the, the foot off the next. We kept the lead since we scored. We kept the lead. Yes, it was tied at 7-7. And then we kicked the Daniel Carlson field goal. And then, you know, that was 10-7. And then we went up 17-7. And then we went up 24-7. We were just scoring and scoring and scoring. Every time they try to bounce back, we came right back with it. And, and, and this defense and this offense, all special teams, everything played well today. Play well. We got to keep this energy going into these next couple of games. We play Philadelphia next week, and we got to keep that energy, ladies and gentlemen. But that is my quick breakdown and my quick review of this game. Don't forget, Reaction Monday will be going down tomorrow to talk about more of this game. But let me know what y'all think, Raider Nation. Let me know what y'all think. Comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. It's the Spotlight Raiders Talk. See you in the next live stream. See you tonight for Sunday Night Football, and we'll see you in the next video.